Hello and welcome everybody. Today we'll be looking at a subcompact hatchback from Japanese import. This is the Mitsubishi Mirage. It is a very tempting small car with good maneuverability and easy drivability that should actually be the characteristic of the subcompact car and it does provide a comfortable interior space for 5 adults. It is offered with engine size ranging between 1 to 1.2 litre. Although the 1.2 litre is a good option to have, but the Mirage mostly imported here in our country are with 1 litre engine with price ranging between 1.1 to 1.3 million rupees. Let's take a closer look now. Under the hood, it features 1 liter inline 3 dual overhead cam engine that kicks out 68 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 86 newton meters of torque at 5000 rpm. It delivers fuel economy of 27.2 kilometers per liter as per Japanese test cycles. However, in our hands, we have just observed 16 kilometers per liter, which isn't too bad. This tiny engine is mated to a 5-speed manual or a CVT gearbox. This particular car comes up with a CVT. Regarding the looks of this car, I would have to say that it is a modern looking proper 5-door hatchback that makes it practical to use especially for small families. These wide-eyed headlamps do not give it an aggressive look. However, this bonnet is quite curvaceous and the front bumper and this thin grille has been designed for optimal airflow around the front. Also the spoiler at the rear has been designed for improved aerodynamics. Mirage has been designed such that it has coefficient of drag 0.31 which is quite good. Overall body length is 146.1 inches, width is 65.6 inches, height is 58.7 inches with a wheelbase of 96.5 inches. Now let us check out the interior. You can lock and unlock the car remotely through these buttons in the keys. Automatic side mirrors. It has power windows, large size pockets in the door bins speakers in the front doors and there is a space for speakers in the rear doors the driver seat has height adjustment the steering wheel does not have tilted or telescopic adjustment so some of the drivers would be sitting in a compromised position electrically adjustable is side mirrors and they are automatic as well It has dual airbags. It has simple and easy to read speedometer cluster with speedo in the middle and tachometer on the left with uh, echometer on the right. And it has a small driver information screen in the middle which shows up different parameters. For example, the audiometer, uh, trip meter A, trip meter B, a driving range within the available fuel. It is the average fuel economy. Auto stop and go indicator which shows you the trip stop time. It is a good feature. It reduces the exhaust gas emission and improves the fuel economy. Outside temperature. That's it. Here are the air conditioning vents for the uh, front passengers and there is a infotainment, infotainment system with 7 inch widescreen TFT with USB auxiliary and SD card and CD and DVD player. Down below is an automatic climate control which is a pretty good feature for this car. Uh, here is a 12 volt power outlet. A convenient storage pocket, two cup holders. CVT gearbox, handbrake and a cup holder for the rear passenger as well. There is another convenient pocket for uh, to store something and it has decently sized glove box. The infotainment system has remote as well and there is a storage. Looking at this interior, it has all hard plastics inside that doesn't give it a premium look but it is a cheap car then. And overall I would have to say that this interior is well laid out and the ergonomics are pretty well too. Speaking about the rear seats, it has plenty of room. 
As I mentioned earlier, these rear seats have been designed to accommodate three mid-sized adults. It has three seat belts and there is plenty of legroom and adequate amount of headroom. The Mirage has boot deep and wide with around 240 liters of cargo capacity that is double to that of Suzuki Alto. So this makes it practical to carry the luggage of a couple or a small family. If required, you can always extend the trunk space to 910 liters by folding down these rear seats which makes it possible to carry larger loads. Now let me start up the engine. You need to turn the ignition key. Now let us see how does it drive like. So I have been driving this Mirage for a while now and I would say that it is an easy car to drive and quite comfortable too. Now it has been designed to be driven around town so for that matter suspension has been tuned for a comfortable ride and handling is also very good but not something what I would call sporty. But of course, it's not a sports car or anything like that. It is a car that has been designed for daily commute and fuel economy. So the soft suspension actually absorbs many of road imperfections commonly seen on our road these days. And it does provide a comfortable ride. Also, it handles the corners in a decent way. This combination of 1 liter with CVT has been designed for good fuel economy. So as is the case with CVTs, the engine speed remains relatively constant, whereas the transmission ratio is continuously varying for optimal efficiency. So when you are driving it in an aggressive mode and you press the accelerator hard or while going uphill, or if you are trying to overtake on a highway or motorway, the engine sounds like it is struggling hard and the CVT drone effect feels a bit weird. But this car has been designed to be driven around town and under normal driving conditions within the city or maybe occasionally on highway, it does its job very well. The drive is very pleasant. It is equipped with engine stop start function. Now I, am, I have stopped the car on a traffic light and the engine was switched off and when you release the brake, it automatically starts up. I personally like this graphical eco indicator which really helps you monitor the fuel economy according to your driving style and with this you can actually fine tune the accelerator pedal operation in real time to save fuel. I would personally appreciate its tight turning circle of 9.2 meter that makes it really easy to maneuver through tight parking spaces. This makes it really an easy car to drive. Overall. I would say that Mirage is not the most appealing car to drive. It is a small car and for its intended purpose it does its job very well. So if you have a small family and you are looking for a subcompact hatchback that has good interior space, that is reliable and economical to run, then Mirage is it. Overall it is a very simple but effective package. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please leave a comment and stay tuned for upcoming reviews of new cars.